episode four of the China series. So last week, Katie and I started our journey in Beijing where we explored the Summer Palace and the Forbidden City. If you haven't seen that episode, make sure to click the link above. So this week, it's Chinese New Year's. Follow along with us as we get to celebrate the spring festival around Beijing. We'll be trying some interesting food, getting to see some really cool performances, and seeing a stunning Buddhist temple. Just a heads up, Katie and I thought it would be a super cool idea to travel around China during Chinese New Year. But a lot of the shops and stores and restaurants and things like that, they're actually closed, or a lot of them are closed leading up to the actual spring festival day in the weeks to follow. So just be prepared that you might not have as much accessibility as you would hope as a tourist, as a lot of people are preparing to spend time with their family and friends at home. But exploring China on the first day of Chinese New Year and the days that follow were totally worth it. Now, on to the day. I think we've lucked out with the pollution since we've been here, but it's starting to hit both of us. Plus it's unhealthy air conditions right there. So we oh, figured- luckily, yes, we got these little masks that we bought on Amazon for $10, really nice. For the first time, I feel like I'm taking a full breath of air. I know. Wow, I feel really warm. Well, today we're meeting our tour guide and we're going to spring festival stuff. Yeah, it's our so, very last day in Beijing. We've already been here for five it days, which is crazy. It does not feel like crazy. five days, it feels so. maybe like two days. Yeah, so. so we don't really know what our day's gonna turn into. No, we don't. But we're taking public transportation in about 15 minutes, and then we're just gonna kind of go oh, and wander. I think it goes backwards, that's why. Oh, maybe. And this squeezes over your nose. Oh. Can you tell we're new at this? <laughs> oh! Like, if like heaven was like a hell place where just everyone's like, yeah. Our tour guide, is, tour guide is a very fast walker. So, <laughs> we're running. <laughs> There's a lot of people. It's very hard. Can you just get two? Sure. What, what do you want? What are the options? This is so crazy. <laughs> yep, so. Okay. Oh. I can't eat that. <laughs> I either can't eat that. I'm not. Oh <laughs> god. I thought he was getting the meat. Oh my. <laughs> what does it taste like? I mean, octopus. It's very good. Is it actually? No. I can't express how scared I am to eat this. It tastes like rubbery chicken. Okay. I said we tried something crazy. <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay. It's very chewy. Yeah. Okay, wait. Pause and take a bite. <laughs> People use the new year as a time to offer prayers of good fortune to their ancestors and or their gods depending on their beliefs. Katie and I walked to a nearby Buddhist temple to experience this exact thing. It was really beautiful to witness.
<laughs> oh no. It got stuck in my earring. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's like a little gill. Like right here. It's like a little fish gill. You watch. Yeah, it was really good when you did it. Oh, you're, you can see yours better. You are my son. <laughs> <laughs>